It makes me mad to see that Parkland gets all this attention and Chicago we don't. It's frustrating. I do sometimes feel a bit jealous, but I mean, it's not something that I really have like control over. My role is to you know, gather up with my peers and help come up with ideas how we can, you know, re you know, get people away from the violence in Chicago. So we have event, certain events such as the Hoops Peace Tournament and in the Arkansas Saints Sabina, so we can gather people from the neighborhood so they can, you know, meet together here and you know have a good time instead of worrying about oh their awareness about like you know, the violence is happening in Chicago daily. So I joined the program to have just a safe place to go to. That started four years ago in the group as a freshman and working with them in a violence prevention program was one key thing. We met Emma, we sat down and talked and she was very energetic, very willing to speak to us about any next plans that we have with each other. So I think she really understood where we were coming from in our situation. And I know one thing that me and Vashon did, we actually walked around, like we took a minute to just look at everything and then we started walking around. And I know that one thing we talked about was how many just balloons and teddy bears and candles and things like that were out there and how it just uh, was different from what we see here. When we lose a loved one, you know, we get maybe a candle and a balloon or a bear, or small things, but we never get that much. In Parkland, they go all into detail about who has been shot and killed, the time it happened, and, you know, their background information. Back in Chicago, we don't get that type of news report. We just get the person, the gender, that the person has, who, who it was who got shot, and then they just tally it up into the number of people who've been shot and killed over the past week. So it's just a number, it's not just a person. We have a voice, we are powerful as well. And the ball is in our court, and it's time to take action. So look, here's what I want you to understand: as being brave youth leaders, young people from Chicago Youth Council, we're not. You're not angry at Parkland. You wanna know why? Parkland is with us. When we went down there. Trinity, Sean could tell you that they acknowledge the fact the reason why they have this platform is because they're privileged. We're all in this thing together. Us is moving in one community, one unit. So I'm definitely excited to, to go do the march. I'm very excited to just see all the youth that's gonna be involved in the march and just all these different people that are trying to make change in the world and just talk to different people, plan things so that we're all just unified and together on what we wanna do and change. People will see our, I mean, hear our voices because we've been fighting this uh, so we've been fighting the strict gun laws for a long time and finally we'll get our voice heard on this platform, on this opportunity for this march for people to really hear and understand our cries for help. The time is not. We've been fighting for peace and justice for a long time and he's not going to stop now.